we do not know whether or not the government is speaking truthfully about a balance being paid because the public does not know what the total cost was in the beginning. They have laid no documents. And we cannot take their word. We should not take their word for the simple reason that we discovered that they illegally took money from the Treasury to use for personal political purposes which is illegal. You see, back in October, Prime Minister Philip Davis, former Prime Minister Perry Christie, and other government officials sent tongues wagging after it was revealed that Davis and several cabinet ministers attended a political event in Bermuda. It was later revealed that the same trip was paid for by the government. Pintard's comments come on the heels of Press Secretary Clint Watson telling reporters last week that the Progressive Liberal Party reimbursed the public treasury for that trip. That's fully behind us. We're trying to finalize the total amount of that. I think it's close to, uh, from the records that I've received, it's just under uh, $60,000 in total for the entire thing. Prime Minister Philip Davis also addressed this matter in the House of Assembly. The day I was leaving, I told, I left instructions with my, special, my senior policy advisor because of the fact that it's, that PLPs are going to be on the flight to make sure that we will we will um, pay, pay for the charter at least and we make the arrangements. When we get into to, um, Bermuda, we will pay for the, pay for the um, hotels and we reckon and reimburse whenever we get all the receipts. Pintard, however, questions which set of financial protocols is the government following? We want to know who is going to pay the price. Who is, we, we have a sense of who the guilty party is, what is now the penalty that's going to apply? Because clearly there isn't a posture in this government, even when guilty of, 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 of an act, to resign. What is the penalty? He adds that the governing party's culture of setting one set of rules for them and another for others is problematic. Because this is the same administration that has just dispensed hundreds of millions of dollars in contracts. If we have discovered what has happened in terms of the Bermuda trip or the central bank loan that they took out inappropriately, illegally, can one only imagine what else you are likely to find if the government publishes all of the various contracts that it has given out for hundreds of millions?